Hi guys, it's time for the um, August prompt for One Little Word. I know, doing the August prompt in August? What's happening here? Um, only just in August, but I want to get this done and then I can start fresh in September. And this one seemed like a relatively easy one because mostly it just involved a little bit of writing, which I've already done. Um, I just had this idea that I would write out the prompts, well not the prompts, my responses to the prompts on these little slips of paper. I don't want them necessarily like shining a light in my book so I'm gonna hide them in an envelope uh, and I've been totally loving the heritage line at the moment. So I was inspired by some of the envelopes in the stationery kit. Uh, stationery pack I mean here, there are these little um, little vellum envelopes in here but I mean obviously they're not very big so I wanted to sort of create my own that was going to be um, a full sized just slightly smaller than my actual page so that it can stick in here so I trimmed down the paper to fit inside my envelope and I'm just going to quickly show you how I made the envelope in the first place. So to create a little vellum envelope, you need to start with a piece of vellum that is eight and a quarter inches wide by 11 inches high. And I'm gonna use my score board just to make things a little bit easier. The first score I wanna make is at two and a quarter. This is some very light vellum. And the second score line is gonna be at six inches. Obviously mine's not quite um, quite long enough, but if you flip that over, it's still the same measurement. So it's two and a quarter and six. Now on the long edge, you want to score in one inch up from the bottom. And again, two and a quarter inches from the, uh, the from the top, sorry. And so that's your basic shape for the envelope. We just need to trim out the four corners here. So instead of just trimming them straight along the score lines, you want to just come in about a quarter of an inch, maybe. I'm just going to eyeball it, uh, but you can measure it if you want to. So at the bottom, you want to come in about a quarter inch from the score line and just trim up to where those scores meet and then flip that round and about a quarter inch or so. Like I said, I'm just eyeballing it to cut the corner out and repeat that on these two bottom corners. And then at the top, on this top flap, you can come in a quarter inch as well but on the sides here, just to give yourself a little bit more room, we're going to eyeball maybe half an inch or something like that. Just to give yourself more room to get whatever's in the envelope out of it. And now we can go and adhere this all together. So fold these side flaps in. Now I'm just going to use some double sided tape to adhere this, uh, you can use whatever adhesive you want. Uh, I think there are sort of specialty vellum tapes if you prefer that, but um, I don't have one so I'm just going to use this. You can see the adhesive through it, but it doesn't look so bad. So side flaps in first and then the bottom. Uh, and that's your envelope all done. You can fold this top flap over and there's lots of ways to adhere this. You don't even have to adhere the top flap down if you don't want to. You could just add a sticker or something to it. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it. So these are a couple of options for your envelopes. You can use just a couple of punched out little pieces of paper and a couple of eyelets with some thread. Um, 
you can use a sticker and these this one is the the heritage puppy stickers that look like wax seals which is like almost perfect for these vellum envelopes um, this can be a little bit fiddly especially because you're so far down the envelope so the easiest way uh, is just to use a couple of little brads so I'm going to show you how to do that I've punched out a couple of little circles this is just some thicker card it's sort of watercolor paper I think and to make things easier for myself I'm just going to create a wee slit in the middle for my brads to go through and just poke them in And then you want to work out where they're going to go so they're in the middle and just poke them through the vellum and flatten them out on the other side. Now doing this bottom one because it's in inside the envelope can be a little bit tricky. mark. I'm just going to do a tiny little score. Just to get it started, it's definitely not going through all the layers. And then pop your hand inside the envelope and push that bread through. And the hard part is separating the prongs and flattening them out, so you just have to fiddle around until you can get it. And eventually you can get it flattened and then you just need to add a little string thread twine whatever you've got so loop that underneath the card pull it tight until it's up against the brad and then just tie a knot so you want to tie the knot so it goes up under the card there going to double knot it so that it doesn't come undone and then you kind of want to peel the vellum back and just trim that thread so it's slightly under the card there and that's your enclosure for your envelope so the rest of the page is going to be super super simple I might use some of these heritage stickers I'm going to see how it looks without them first uh, and I'm going to use the uh, Red Bank Alpha from Kelly Stamps because it's quite um, narrow and the title I want to use for this page is the same as the prompt, uh, the story. I haven't decided whether I'm going to write story or stories because I do have three. Um, the story I am telling myself is. Uh, so I'm going to use this and hopefully I can sort of squeeze it on here. I'll just have to see how I go. I haven't planned to this out. Uh, hopefully that won't take too long. So like I said I hadn't actually planned out how many words I was going to be able to fit across here. It is a really tall narrow alpha so um, you can actually fit quite a lot across a page. I just sort of laid out a word first before I started stamping to see just exactly how much I was going to get and I think I can get quite a lot. I think I can squeeze it onto three lines rather than five and I'm what four letters in and I'm already smudging ink everywhere. That's the first time I've used that sand eraser and did you see how well that took the ink off? You'll see it again because I do it more than once. Um, this was not a great stamp. Um, I think it's like a it's the blocks a little bit too wide for such narrow stamps I ended up um, accidentally inking the block up a couple of times and the corner of it just hits the paper and smudges there is a red bank number set as well um, and that has the punctuation on it I was busy trying to work out which letter I could partially ink up to create those little dots at the end there and in the end I was like oh no wait I think there's punctuation so I grabbed the um, 
number set oh there I go again with the eraser so that I could add the punctuation in and then I just carried on stamping so you can see here I am telling myself is so I am telling you get three words across there and all I've got left is one more line that says the story so I wasn't really thinking about it I didn't decide to go with the singular story that just happened to be what my brain stamped out the story I'm telling myself is but it kind of works because each one of those little bits of paper that has um, the journaling on it each one is its own separate story so if you pull one out it makes sense the story I'm telling myself is I decided since I had the number set out I would just number these they're not in any particular order or anything it's just because it's in a vellum envelope you are going to be able to uh, sort of see the writing underneath and I figured it would pull those two sides together so I just stamped the one two and three and then I can slip those into that envelope that I've already made and I'm just going to use a couple of strips of double-sided tape to stick that in um, I stick it in really poorly if I'd used my tape runner I would have been able to move it but the double-sided tape it's not moving so uh, I just had to put up with where it is I guess it seems it seems quite simple but like after last month and like how just bright and colorful and kind of over the top I guess that is I quite like the simplicity so now I'm kind of second guessing whether I want to put stickers on or not but they are very pretty I was thinking maybe some of the florals yeah let's do it why not kind of feel like that's enough it's just a little bit of color and like I said I was trying to just keep this um, this prompt pretty pretty simple just so I can get it done and finished which I have I'm super pleased and I can start again and try and stay a little bit more on track with September so thanks for watching today guys I hope that you are um, keeping up or at least giving yourself the grace to not keep up. Uh, let me know how you're going down below. I'm always happy uh, to hear that I'm not the only one not quite making it. So thanks again for watching and I will see you again really soon. Bye!